What is up guys, Hurricane Liz here, and in today's video, I've got my very good friend Kevin, who you've actually seen on my videos before because he's had a tremendous amount of success at drop shipping, and he's made as much as $250,000 in a single month drop shipping from Walmart to Amazon, and in today's video, we're not even going to talk about drop shipping. We're going to talk about something completely different that Kevin has been working on, and it's working insanely better than ever right now at this moment while we've got a recession all around us. And in fact, it's an actual part of Amazon that requires you to upload something and guess what? You get sales without even running any ads, without running anything because it's like running old Amazon products. So he's going to reveal what that is and how he's doing it and how you two can get started with a very little budget and or with very little skills. So he's going to show you how he's doing that, how he's doing with that and how his recent upload got at least a single sale a day without doing anything any advertising or anything. In fact, he did a shitty job at keyword research. I was looking at his keywords and his categories and I was like, dude, what in the hell are you doing? This is totally against everything that I teach. You really got no idea what's going on, yet you still got sales. So what does that say? I'm, I mean, I'm not saying Kevin's an idiot because he certainly is not, but I'm saying that anybody can actually do this as long as they just put the time and the dedication to upload this one thing. So let's go to jump straight into the interview with Kevin and you can find out how he's actually ramping this up and doing it right now. All right, so I'm here with Kevin and uh, one thing that I didn't mention about the video, I've got a secret surprise for you guys. Since we're stuck and we're in quarantine or we're in shelter in place, whatever the hell you want to call it, Instead, we're going to take shelter in place vodka shots. So anytime Kevin says the secret word during this interview, I'm going to be over here pouring myself a shot of beluga and taking it. And it's still daylight, so coronavirus is driving me nuts. So let's go ahead and just have some fun. And every time Kevin says the word, I'm pouring myself a shot and sipping it up. So secret nice. words down here. So, all right, you guys have possibly met Kevin in another one of my actual videos. Um, he's been drop shipping with me. We both kind of came up in the ranks of drop shipping together. And I, I kind of, I did another interview with him, talking to him about his plans for the future on Amazon. But he's, uh, he's actually got into Amazon a little differently than, than most everybody that I know. And just to kind of give you guys more information about him is he's done over seven figures drop shipping on Amazon. But again, we've been in this business about a year and a half, but he did things a little differently than most people. He had an entirely different approach to jumping into Amazon, which is just like ask questions later and just take action first. Kevin, you want to explain a little bit more about why you decided to jump onto the Amazon platform and just do whatever you could on it. Yeah, I think um, when I first started with Amazon, uh, it was, I think the allure was you didn't have to run traffic. Um, you didn't have to buy Facebook ads, Google ads. I uh, saw a lot of people posting crazy screenshots of, of you know, monthly revenue figures. Uh, and I was like, wow, that's something that I should probably tap into and I should probably learn. And I, so I just dove it head first in and started um, trying to source products from different vendors uh, and just listing things like crazy. Yeah. So again, like I said, most people will be like, oh, do I do Shopify or oh, do I do it? They can't really make a decision, but you jumped head first into Amazon. And I think a lot of the confidence came from the fact that you understand Amazon is the one of the biggest companies in the world and they're not slowing down. Has, has it surprised you how reliant people are right now on Amazon, considering that people don't really want to leave their house? Has that surprised you at all? Um. It has surprised me, but I think logically it makes sense because uh, we've been seeing some really crazy numbers uh, in terms of sales numbers uh, just these past three weeks. Um, some of the days have been pretty insane. So uh, I am surprised, but now that you logically think about it, uh, I'm not surprised. Right. It's kind of for me, it's a little scary. So sometimes I have to think like, wow, that, that's kind of crazy that we kind of set ourselves up to be in this position. But obviously, I'd rather have the world be a better place than have ten thousand dollars flowing into bank accounts <laughs> that's right. very obvious but um in in case people are brand new you do you want to remind them let's say they haven't seen you in a previous interview what's the most you made in a single month just drop shipping alone yeah i think the most i've made in, in a single month is about 210 i think Two hundred ten thousand. yeah that's fantastic yeah. selling other people's <laughs> product third party so that basically means Kevin didn't buy the product until somebody else bought it. But again, uh, in that other video, we don't advise people to start with this business model. It takes a lot of experience, a lot of time, and you got to set yourself up. So uh, in the other interview, we also talked about him having a day as high as $10,000.
Uh, but I know that you're not necessarily a fan of drop shipping. You want to put all your eggs in one basket or you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. But you're the type of person that I've noticed that when you start doing something, you see it through. What has made you decide to see it through with Amazon in general? And what kind of things are you looking to do with them in the future if it's not drop shipping? Yeah, you know, I think, um, uh, like you said, Amazon is just such a big platform, you know, it, in terms of like company market cap, it's just such a massive opportunity, right? I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon, um, but it, it's just having, being able to tap into an existing customer base, uh, kind of with their credit card in hand, ready to go to purchase just any item. So uh, it's definitely some place that I think uh, any sort of aspiring sort of passive income um, money entrepreneur should tap into, you know, whether it's sort of on the, the dropshipping side, the FBA side, or, or even on sort of like the KDB side, I think there's a lot of opportunity out there. All right. For those of you guys that are tuning in late, I'm taking a shot of vodka with every, uh, certain key secret words so here's the vodka it's beluga it's my favorite it goes down very clean so i'm not sure why i'm squinting so much it's just for theatrical purposes all right kevin let's continue on hopefully i can continue to read this stuff straight as the time goes on all right tell me tell me something that you're really picky about let's let's ignore all that i need to take a break from all this vodka what are you super picky about i in fact can think of one thing what i'm really picky about huh it's good it's a good question i actually think i have a little bit of ocd so no, One of the really? things that I, I would say is some things on Excel, if things aren't formatted properly or everything is not the same fonts, uh, everything is not the same font size, uh, I think that really throws me off and I sort of have to edit everything before I get started. Yeah, wow. I can think of one other thing you're super picky about, your fucking hair. My God. <laughs> we talk about a metrosexual guys and girls. This is one live. All right. So let's talk about the opportunities other than fixing your hair, obviously, that you see in the next few months coming out after this re recession? Yeah, you know, I, I think um, uh, KDP uh, and sort of like the ACX, <laughs> the ACX platform is definitely uh, one of the biggest opportunities out there right now that, that's pretty much untapped. Absolutely. All right, so why jump into K uh, Kindle? Why eBooks? Why, why that? Why not something else out there like Shopify? Yeah, so I think with um with uh, KDP, um, hopefully you don't <laughs> hopefully you don't have to take another shot. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm gonna be really fucked up later on. I think one of the biggest opportunities, uh, especially when it comes to sort of selling books online, is that um, it's it already you're already tapping into an existing Amazon customer base. People ha already have Kindles. People are already wanting to learn. Um, so that, that's reason number one. But I think reason number two uh, is that you actually don't have to have uh, any inventory. Um, so when you, you're creating a piece of content, it, it's sort of already in the Amazon ecosystem and all people have to do is download it. So you're never going to have to deal with issues of inauthentic items, running out of stock. Uh, it already exists. Uh, it's sort of this intangible good that you can sell forever. You create it once and you can just sell it again and again and again. Uh, you know, before you did all this, did you actually listen or read audiobooks? Uh, I actually did. Uh, I think... Um, uh, anytime I go to the gym, I'm usually listening to either a podcast or an audiobook. Uh, and I, um, little hack, life hack for you guys. Uh, I have this app called uh, Libby. It's spelled L I B B Y. Um, and all you have to do is connect a library card to it, and you can actually download, uh, you can actually check out um, actually quite a lot of audiobooks completely for free. Wow, that, that's a pretty good hack, Kevin. I was buying mine, so I feel like you <laughs> save me some money every single month by just listening to this interview. So that's awesome. Um, all right, so what opportunities do you see within books that not a lot of people are taking advantage of right now? Yeah, I think um, I think there's a couple. I think uh, just in general, uh, the KDP platform definitely has. <laughs> Kevin, I'm going to kick your ass next time I see you. <laughs> that... Uh, that platform definitely has a lot of content out there already. Um, but what happens is you can actually get those books turned into audiobooks and you can actually upload them to the ACX platform. So again, it's, it's sort of like creating one piece of content and then double dipping. Um, so that's, that's the first thing that I see uh, that's, that's really an opportunity uh, to jump into. Um, the second thing is uh, there's a lot of short sort of content things that you can actually create. Um, they're called like short, uh, I think they're called short content books. So this, these are books that are 15 minutes long, 30 minutes long, 90 minutes long that they've categorized. And I think it's really easy to tap into that. It's really easy and quick to create that content. Uh, but that's something that 
you know, you can actually create, if you have any background, do some research on, on a, a topic that you're interested in that you can actually just write yourself. So I think those are two things that if you're starting out fresh, if you want sort of like a uh, intro guideline to, that's something that you can research and take advantage of. Now, what's the difference in competition that we're seeing like these books versus actually doing an Amazon product and or if, if I'm already kind of a little bit drunk. So is somebody doing an Amazon product. Yeah, you know, I think Amazon products, uh, a private label product, think of it ha- as, as having sort of like the most competition right now, right? It's probably the most well known, still definitely doable, uh, but it's going to take a lot more time for you to actually find out the product. Uh, there's a lot of capital investment that you have to do. Uh, when it comes to KDP, um, there's definitely things that you'll need to. <laughs> there's definitely. Uh, competition on the platform. Don't get me wrong, but let's say, for example, if there are there's um, let's say five thousand similar books on a specific topic on that platform. If you actually look into ACX, uh, you can actually see a pretty massive disparity. Um, so I've seen some cases where uh, on the Kindle platform, where it has let's say five thousand um, pieces of content on let's say dieting. If you actually go into the niche on ACX, it might only be uh, 500, right? So it's a it's pretty significant difference. Right. So first, first and foremost, I'm uh, limiting the amount of shots I take per question to one. And I'm also setting this at a cap of probably like another two or three. So, uh, all right. How much do you spend on advertising for these books, Kevin? You know, as of right now, uh, I haven't spent a single dime. That doesn't mean I'm not going to, but as of right now, for the books that I'm selling, I've actually, I haven't spent any money on paid advertising. Wow. And uh, how about writing them? Uh, How, does somebody have to be a writer to write these? Like I, I, for example, suck at writing. I suck at interviews too. So thank God I have other things that I can survive off of. But do you have to be the best writer in the world at this or even a decent writer? That's a great question. You know, I don't think you have to be a writer at all. Um, I, you can actually outsource that writing piece entirely to a ghostwriter, and it's actually really easy to hire on actually good writers um, that are looking for work right now. Awesome. So uh, let me ask you this question, and then we're going to get a little more serious. I don't know which snack you finished first during the mandatory stay indoors <laughs> California policy. What snack yeah, did I you think, attack? Uh, uh, first snack I finished, definitely hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are gone. <laughs> if there's a shortage of Cheetos in California, we know why. Kevin's been eating all of them up. So, um, all right. So, with all this that you're building, you got some drop shipping, you got KDP, you got all sorts of things going on. You're, you're sourcing a private label product. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Yeah, ooh, that's a good question. Um, definitely selling things online first and foremost. I think. You know, especially with pandemic going on right now, I can see that a lot of people are migrating towards consumer habits of shopping online. So anything that you could do online right now, I think is is something good. It's that's that's something I'm definitely gonna uh, keep in the trenches going forward. Right, I absolutely agree with you. I think if you're not selling something online, you're at a disadvantage. Um, with Amazon though, is it is your plan to stay on Amazon almost exclusively, or are you gonna expand, or or what exactly do you plan on doing? Yeah, I think there's a lot of opportunity out there. Um, I think uh, Amazon, uh, you know, there's so many opportunities on Amazon itself, right? You can think about private label, you can think about, you know, merchandise, uh, with t-shirts, you can think about books, um, you can think about drop shipping. I think those are things I'm definitely going to gonna continue doing as long as it, uh, it makes sense. Uh, but there's a lot of other opportunities out there too, in terms of like, you know, always brushing up on uh, potentially selling like a physical product on your own website. Right? I think that's, that's definitely something uh, I want to get into. Yeah. And what's, what's been the most exciting movie you've seen since you've been on a shelter and oh, shelter? What is it? Shelter in place or what, yeah, whatever shelter in the place. Yeah. Most exciting movie. Um, I actually saw a, a pretty, uh, pretty scary movie the other day. I think it's, I think it's on Netflix actually still. It's called Midsummer. Have you, have you heard of that? No, but I don't like scary movies. I'm, I'm going to have to drink some more vodka for that. <laughs> well, it's crazy because the entire, <laughs> the entire movie actually, it's a, it's a, kind of like a psychological thriller but the the whole setting it's it's actually it takes place in in um just daylight so it doesn't take place at night everything all the scary parts actually happen in in broad daylight kevin i hope you didn't give us any spoilers because i'm gonna go over there with my vodka bottle and smack you over the head 
<laughs> no, there are no spoilers. It's, it's honestly a trippy movie. I think uh, uh, if you guys are at home, take a look at it. Fantastic. One last question, and then we'll let you get back to uh, eating all the hot Cheetos over there. Uh, what what type of Amazon business do you advise brand new people get started right now? I mean, they're stuck in their house, so it's kind of hard to do a lot of things. But what one business, if you had to start all over again, and you're sitting at home right now, taking shots like I am or eating all the hot Cheetos, what do you suggest we stop, put that stuff down for and start creating? Yeah, I think out of sort of all the choices that you have on Amazon right now, I actually think um, doing a Kindle book is probably the best opportunity right now. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do a Kindle book. You don't have to write sort of like a, a 30,000 word, uh, you know, long nonfiction sort of content piece. You can actually write something that is as low as, um, you know, a 15 pager and you can actually deploy it almost immediately and start selling. Um, so I think as long as you're researching the topics, you can write it yourself, you can outsource it uh, for fairly cheap. Um, that's probably the best bet right now. Um, but like anything, uh, take some time, really do the research. And I, I think uh, it, it, that right now is probably your best shot at actually making money online today if you're not doing anything already. Awesome. Amazing, Kevin. Well, thank you so much for this interview. Um, how should people reach out to you? I think you're on Instagram or, or what? what's the channel that you prefer people to reach out to you in case they wanted to pick your brain or they wanted coaching of some sorts or anything like that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So um, how about this? We'll just drop in my, my sort of Instagram handle uh, in the uh, description of the YouTube video. And uh, I'll also add my email so they can email me um, and they can just reach me from there. Fantastic, guys. So there you have it. I got one more shot left. Cheers to Kevin and KDP <laughs> Kindle. I, I probably missed about five, six shots, but I was already getting a buzz. So uh, let me know in the comments how you guys liked shot interview vodka. Um, it's almost like shit, right? <laughs> you liked shot... <laughs> And hit me with an interview vodka, the shit game, right? Let me know how you liked it. Put your comments below and I'll bring you some more of these uh, shit games. But uh, cheers to you guys. Make sure you're staying at home. Make sure you're staying safe and make sure you're starting something. So when we get out, out of this and we're all free to run around like crazy lunatics, we can do so and we're alive, right? And, and take care of the health workers out there. There's a lot of them risking their lives for you to be safe. So uh, take that into consideration and don't go out there and do stupid shit like they're doing in Miami, like Clearwater, actually. I saw an article, people are at the fucking beach. It's like, come on, people, stay the fuck home. So uh, cheers to you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. <laughs>